the Hedgehog, Sega Genesis mascot, chili dog enthusiast, and hero of one of the strangest comic series to ever be set on paper. But it's his frenemy, Knuckles, I'm talking about today, and how he became a god. I'm Jocelyn the Intern, I do all the research nobody else wants to, straight from the desk of Death Battle! So, if you don't know by now, the Sonic the Hedgehog Archie comics are batshit insane! I'm talking evil Sonic taking Sonic's place and sleeping with all his lady friends insane. But what you may not know is that in the late 1990s, Knuckles actually had his own line of comic books. Unfortunately, it got cancelled because nobody read them. Which probably made a lot of Sonic readers really confused when he showed up in Sonic the Hedgehog number 89, teamed up with Sonic Robin Hood to tussle with the High Sheriff of Snottingham, and then suddenly turned… green? Apparently, Knuckles awakened his true power, and along with the color change, gave him the powers of an omnipotent god, aka Chaos Knuckles. So how did we get here? Well, Knuckles is a descendant of the Brotherhood of Guardians, an ancient order of echidnas who protect the all-powerful Master Emerald, tapping into its chaos power for mystical abilities. Back in the day, Knuckles' dad had a vision of his son's death, so in order to prevent this, he did what any logical father would do. He genetically experimented on himself and his unborn child, filling Knuckles with chaos energy, mutating his son into the animal abomination we saw earlier. Now, while this looks extremely painful, it has its perks, like the ability to bend time and space. That's nice. But what did Knuckles do with all this newfound power? Well, to better understand his power, he got all buddy-buddy with his evil great Uncle Dimitri and the Dark Legion. Maybe not the best choice, but for a meathead like Knuckles, bad choices come pretty easy. Like exploring his family tree and hooking up with his distant cousin, Julie Sue. Sure, 11th generation removed cousin, but still. There's plenty of echidnas in the sea there, Knuckles, okay? Anyway, while gallivanting around with the baddies, Green Bean over here decided to get pretty liberal with time travel and wound up ruining basically everything. Like multiple milestone events in history just got torn apart because he tried to fix them. And it's implied that his meddling ended up creating two timelines. A good timeline and a bad timeline. What comes next? <laughs> oh boy. The two timelines have very different paths for Knuckles. But in the darker timeline, Knuckles is a real dick. He ends up killing everyone on Mobius and collecting their souls like some Rastafarian Shang Tsung. Also, he not only falls in love with Julie Sue, but they end up having a kid together. Her name is Lara Sue or Janie Ka, depending on who you're asking. She grows up and does some time traveling of her own. Ugh, I could do an entire episode on Lara Sue and the lawsuit it created, but uh, we'll save that for another time. Back in the good timeline, Knuckles eventually got control over his powers, just in time for a mammoth in a swaggy suit to steal him. This guy also turned into a chaos god in a previous comic because who hasn't, am I right? With his powers weakening fast, Knuckles pulled off his last resort move and, um, blew himself up. He just blew himself up. So now he's dead and the insanity can die with him. <laughs> just kidding, he didn't really die. Duh. Instead, he actually just evolved to a higher plane where he gets to do the standard ethereal stuff. You know, like attending his own funeral and meeting God, who of course is an echidna named Aurora. Anyway, God Kidna was cool enough to let Knuckles go back to being red, and she even threw in a little reincarnation. In exchange, Knuckles had to give up his godlike powers. Well, until like 20 issues later when they just came back. Because nothing really matters long term in comics. And of course, with his powers returning, Knuckles loses control again. But this time, the only way to stop Knuckles is for his dad to sacrifice himself. A fitting end to the chaos when you think about it. Of course, again, nothing matters because a few issues later, everything was retconned by Mega Man. That's right, the Blue Bomber, and something called the Super Genesis Wave basically nullified like 200 issues of Sonic the Hedgehog. So there you go, 
right now you also have to share in this useless, insane bit of Knuckles knowledge. <laughs> you know, sometimes reading all these comics really makes me want to clean my eyeballs with bleach. Is there bleach in here in the studio? Wiz, where's my bleach? Ooh, fun fact. Remember the vision of Knuckles' death that Locke has, which sets off this entire chain of events? Yeah, it never actually happens. Robotnik's Claude Robot never shows up, so this storyline is completely pointless, as well as retconned. <sighs>